All right. All right. All right, I got all my stuff, so I think I'm good to head to uh, Mario's now. Oh, wait, my screen's a little, um, sorry, one moment. My screen's a little, is this right? I think my screen's, uh, yeah, my screen's the right size. All right, uh, time to make sure, sorry. Uh, all right. I think I'm good to, uh, uh, how's it going? Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll just do an intro thing. Hey, everybody, how's it going? I'm back with some mythos. Um, let me just move my mic a little bit. So, uh, let me just, uh, tell about what's going on in life right now. Um, uh, let's see, I got new headphones, so that's nice. They're, they feel way more comfortable than the ones that push my glasses into my flesh and skull. So, that's nice. Let me turn the music a little lower. Anyways. You, um... Yeah. You, um... What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I'm an idiot. Anyways, how's it going? You, um... What is that? Yum? Yum, you dumbass. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright. Oh god. Oh, I did not like that POV. Anyways. So, how's everyone doing? T oh god. How's everyone doing today? Um I think um I cannot believe it took you so long to put that together. <laughs> look, look, man. Look. You're talking to the man who has an F in his geometry class. What what really do you expect from me, really? And making color swatch, color swatch references from it. You know what? Sure, yeah. Also, I finally got, also, uh, I got some new eyes. So, uh, I like it. I love the eyes. Love them. What? I, I love that sentence. I love my new eyes. <laughs> It sounds like a contacts or something. <laughs> I love my new eyes. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. We got contacts. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> how's everyone doing today? Just, how's everyone doing? I, I just used this, so I needed the, uh, you know, I don't need food anymore. You're doing good? That's good. I think I'll turn off the music now. It, it's kind of, the music is getting on my nerves. Anyways. Sheep! Sheep! Die! Die, sheep, die. Da, 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 da. Give me a moment of my time. Give me a moment of my time. All right. Give me a moment of time. Had to go DM someone. Because some people DM me while I stream For some stupid reason I get it, I'm amazing, but why? <laughs> why did I just start singing? <laughs> God damn God fucking damn it what do you think of the RP stuff in the fan server? I think it's pretty good, honestly. I, th I think the RP stuff's pretty good. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really looked recently in the roleplay chat in the fan server. I look at it occasionally, but I don't keep an eye on it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, 
Honestly, I think I started bursting out the song because I'm a choir, because I'm part of my school's chamber choir. Honestly. Which I don't know. We got plot and stuff. Night. We love plot. We love plot. We honestly love plot, really. We love it, you know? Plot is amazing. Currently, I'm heading to Mario's to actually give over the, um... Sanity Soap. Because I'm not too sure if Mario ever got that after the Vanguard Siege with all the Void Armor and shit. So I'm not too sure if, um... Mario or anyone really got that or not so Kind of just going over to Mario and stuff I was kind of curious what mr. Unicorn's doing currently because I haven't seen him since See I kind of find it interesting the place Mr. Unicorn has decided to take refuge in really I mean like he took refuge near Ebony's Tower. So, which is a place I don't look upon fondly. So this is taking me a little bit of time. It took me a little bit of uh, deciding if I actually wanted to, um, you know, um, go here. Because I don't like remembering uh, the time I was there. But, um... You know, I've gotten stronger, and I've gotten past it, really. I mean, I'm not the same um, weakling, I guess, that I was when I was here the first time, so. Let's, let's just leave it at, uh, I don't particularly enjoy um, the thought of that eternal night day. Or just what happened there. It's not a thing I particularly like to look fondly upon. Mainly just because I was... I wouldn't imagine that... I wouldn't imagine anything less, really. Well, that looks familiar. I mean, I never, I never met the real one. The real one. I really only got to know the nightmare. I only really knew the nightmare version. And I, uh, ah, uh, hello, there, Jin. Hello, Jinji Kitty. First time chatter. Oh yeah, no, the nightmare row and and honestly, all those night, all three of them, really kind of scared the high heavens out of me. Uh, I don't like talking about it, really. Okay, I see they did some stuff here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know you. I was just trying to recognize the name. <laughs> uh, how's it going? God, we love Tiger's community. What do we have here? Blast Furnace, Preheater, oh, F and chat, uh, F and chat on that one. Yeah! Oh, who has, uh, thanks for the follow, kitty, thanks for it. Wait, thanks, Gingy, fuck, god damn. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, Ovec has gone through trauma, like, you cannot believe, honestly. Like, honestly, Ovec has gone through so much trauma, I wouldn't even put it past. I remember. Oh, yeah, I kind of stood up here a lot of the time. Um, yeah, no, I remember Nightmare Ant and Nanus was up there. Cam was mostly around here. I kind of, like, jumped around, so I never got hit too much. Was Mar- yeah, I think Marshy was here, too. I will say they fixed up, Mario's fixed up some of the place. Honestly, yeah, on, honestly, keep making Ovec cry. Keep doing it. I think Ovec, honestly, keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it.
We love it. Or at least I, or at least I enjoy watching. Is that a Twilight Portal? Is that here last time? Or is that new? I think that's new. Then again, I don't really care about the Twilight, really. It's not really a thing I care much about. I don't care about the Aether, the Nether, either. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care too much about the other dimensions and stuff. So I don't really feel the need to look into that stuff. The Void, I find interesting because of its connection with Thumbcraft and stuff, which is one reason I looked into it, really. Then also, I heard about its stronger properties comparatively to everything else, and I want to be more useful, and I think I have become more useful with my knowledge of the Void. I mean, I gave Justin the Primal Crusher he asked for. I've made Sin Primal Crusher. I made myself a Primal Cutter and Sword here. Void Armor. I, I'll, I'll put that on my list of things to do. So I'm guessing this is Mario's house. I still find it interesting Mario decided to build this close to that, to Ebony's Tower. But then again, I don't think Mario... No. Oh. Hey there, Mario. So you are here. Yeah. Oh, never so... mind. Uh, he's unfortunately harmless. I'm. I wouldn't say harmless. I would say harmless. Yeah. You set off the. Uh, you set off the alarm. The, the ear thing. The, uh, thoma thomatic, uh, ear alarm thing. Sound oh. alarm. Yeah. Whatever. Also, I don't think you should call me useless. I took down an entire edict camp by I didn't myself. Say useless. I said harmless. I took down a whole to edict people. camp by myself. Oh anyway. yeah, and you're definitely gonna hurt us. I mean, I don't have a reason to, and also I like both of you. Well, I like you. My I don't know point. about you. Don't know you well yeah. enough. But anyways. I mean, I live with him. Yeah. I know Swan might not be on your best side right now because of the fact that you brought Oh, I don't know, a bunch of tainted materials into the library. Well, that, that stuff is from the Vanguard Siege. I kind of just didn't dispose of it yet. Yeah, liquid taint. She wasn't the biggest fan of that. Ah, uh, why would she be? No, you can't, Charlie. Stay. Anyways. You have a flower. Anyway, did anyone ever um give you the sanity soap that we promised y'all? Oh, no, I had to make my own. <laughs> okay, well, I brought it. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know where you lived. Well, I live here. Well, uh, in uh, forgiveness of payment, uh... I have soda. The heck? Oh. Oh, yeah, I haven't told Mario yet. I joined a guild. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I also have this. Oh, thank you. No problem. Peacekeepers. Yeah, you're in my guild. You're you're in a guild with me now. Yeah, just as uh, just Justin said, like they wanted to uh, make get more numbers, and I was like, well, I haven't joined a guild yet, so I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll join. And they got me through the thing, and they were like, are you sure? And it's like, are you sure again? And are you sure again? And are you sure again? And I said yes every time. And uh, you know, you can't walk, anyways. Well, right now, uh, I guess the library was a little mm. full right now, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I heard they have a nickname. The, the library? library of the lions? No, no, no. They're called Lambrary, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's Rex's my... nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll change his name. I'll change his mind on that soon enough. That's not going to do no, anything. No, that's not going to do nothing. <laughs> I think... You should know well enough. That's not gonna do shit. Lame, very. I mean, it rhymes. Oh, like even if I, even if I, t even if I do, t make even if I do defeat him, he's not gonna change his mind. Mm -mm, but you could. I mean, I mean, in theory, you could just like do the same thing to their guild. I'm pretty sure they have one too, right? I don't know. Do they? That's a uh, that's a void metal gauntlet, isn't it? Uh, yes. 
That is very much warping right there. You You're can, okay there? You can thank uh, Kathy for this one. But, um, eh, it's fine. It doesn't really give you a lot of warp. It gives you, like, what, warping two? Yeah, and it doesn't even do that much, does it? I mean, I have a lot of augmentations on it and stuff. I mean, I mean it's useful. How many augmentations? I only... I put, I put three on it. Well, the same thing happens to mine. I guess it's just a preference of, like, style, I guess, after that, huh? I guess. I guess, yeah. Because uh, you can't exact... Because even attaching, like, a... Uh, let's see, a folk guide to it doesn't even change how much mm. you can hold, depending on the gauntlet. Uh, it gives a... Oh, well, it... Okay, well... I mean, it's also very useful, I mean, occasionally. I mean, Void's useful, it gives you a lot of Viz discount items. Like, for really example, need... like, for example, uh, these boots I made, they're like Boots the Traveler but Voided have a Viz discount. Yeah, I don't... No, don't I don't do really... that, Charlie. I don't really need Viz discounts, because, uh... The area we've basically created this there's area. There's so much viz. You know, I can show well, you. Oh yeah, there's a lot of. Here. Well yeah, there's a lot of viz here, but no, other no, places. No, 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 no. I'll and... show you. I'll show you. Come here. No, no, no. We we found a way to create a um, a fountain. I, of I it. got it, Mario. We're we're we're, yeah, we're showing yeah. them. All right, follow me. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Seriously, oh, you guys didn't follow me? I told you. No, to. no, no. Chris almost got lost immediately. No, oh. not really. I was following you because it's your house. I'm not going to wander around your house. It's my house. I live here. That doesn't mean it's yours. I, I own the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Mario's actual place. Love the ritual room. I mean, could have a bit more color on the walls, but I mean, it's uh, nice. I, I, it's, I mean, I mean I it's not really. It's just in case, it, in case Mario explodes it again. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, that was kind of yeah, easy. But if you come down here, if you come down here, basically, we yeah. created multiple floors of forest. Okay, yeah. I know these trees generate this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're everywhere. Oh, be Bas careful. Basically, as soon as we use any amount of viz, what the heck is this? What? Uh, my cave. I mean, this is useful for, like, a place, but, like, in other areas where Viz is lower, it's going to have Viz discount items on you. Well, it also helps that uh, we have multiple floors of it. I mean, yeah, so that's good for this area, but like if you go into another place, it's not too useful other than when you are here specifically. Oh, watch really step by the way, you were about to hit a Viz room, and you know those things can do. I honestly don't mind the feeling of them, really. That's your friend. Um, <laughs> so talk, the you're talking the, to the uh, guy who delved into the void. I don't really think you should really expect much. True. I mean, you, from the minor effects I suffered because I accidentally messed up a sh uh, ritual once. Oh uh, yeah. The constant heartbeats, the murmuring, the creeper sounds. You get used to it. I mean, I haven't had an effect like it for a long time. Like once you stop accumulating warp, the effects don't—they don't come around. Hmm. It's well, if you keep getting more and more warp, is when the effects keep coming. True. Honestly, there's a lot of warped-out people. It's really not that rare. I don't doubt that. Honestly. Actually, I'm curious. I am curious. Whatever. Yeah. What are you curious about? Uh, I am curious, though. Actually, there are some parts of the... Oh, hold on, let me see. Huh. I guess that makes sense. What? Eh, what your body is made out of. Alchemedica, Magica, uh, Healthia, and Humana. Yes, I know all those phrases. No, well, make no sense. Basically, you're made out of, uh, basically the materials that would make, uh, that make up enchanting potions, basic magic, and basically life-giving. Lovely. I make no sense. It's a good, it's a good way to identify, like, what foci is also your strongest, but with you, it looks like you don't have, like, a specialty. It looks like you can, it looks like you're, like, you can dabble in everything and be good at it. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. Of course, I'm most efficient within the void, really, but, yeah. 
That kind of, that might explain the uh, the alchemica actually. Probably. Or you know my one hundred percent in alchemy, but yeah. Um, True. Uh, for me, love your I found out. Yeah, and uh, Jellum apparently. And I think that's Fabrico, and then I think everyone has the human thingy. Actually, funny enough, uh, you already know ZK, right? Uh, I'm aware. No holes, man. Yeah. Well, he has a lot of human, actually. Everyone has the average four. He has a he has 16 of it. Interesting. Yeah, I'm wondering about that, too, but he just asked, like, if I could scan him because I'm guessing he wants a hint on what the heck he became. Yeah, I don't even know what he became, really. No, I've been trying to research it. I got nothing. Yeah. No I idea what happened, but for some reason, yes. I have Machina. Oh yeah, so I didn't ask how did um how did you all how did all you librarians do in the uh, prison? Got bored. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. We're all up there doing Having stuff, a... and the yellows are just down there, kind of just being prisoners. <laughs> yeah, we try to break out multiple times, but oh yeah, they had. Uh, by the they way, had an... yeah. Apologies for threatening to cut off your horn. Apologies. Oh, don't, oh, don't worry. If you had even attempted to touch it, I would have thrown you into that water. Rhino strength, buddy. Unicorn strength. Rhino. <laughs> Unicorn, Unicorn strength. Be quiet, you chipmunk. Oh. Chipmunk. You're I was thinking... sad. You're a mythical creature. I was thinking a ferret, but yeah. A chipmunk kind of works... Chipmunk kind of works better because chipmunks are just high energy. Don't worry, Lillian. That was a joke. You're always a squirrel. Don't worry. Okay. He, he, he cares about me. Yeah. Then why didn't you Stop. move in with him? <laughs> because I don't like his house. Why don't you like I my like house? I mean, I there's know. a goblin cave next to it. I also, can, yeah. he kind of tricked me and they're getting in a thumb <laughs> yeah I, I remember you telling me about that oh yeah i did yeah i love doing that mm. well also his aesthetic's weird he's a pirate Ooh. hamilton man yeah wow. wait your aesthetic I... is uh blacksmith i like it blacks i guess that's fair honestly i, I didn't at all just cheat your stair system anyways I'm and I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to find a way to make that arcane elevator to go quickly up, up and down. Nah. You know, if you keep on acting out like this, Charlie, I'm gonna have to leave you. What's in Charlie the saying? Charlie is saying to kill you guys and eat your souls. Yeah, that's just a normal golem, by the way. It was my first test to golem, and I carry around a brain in a jar. Oh. Wait, you got into that part of uh, of Gollumancy? Right yeah, of course show. I did. Huh? Literally, Actually. I like I like to unlock everything. What do you want from me? I mean, to be fair, I also do that, but that's kind of dangerous. It kind of just bothers me though, since I have like turns to unlock everything. But I really, uh, I'm probably not going to at all. I still don't uh, know what I'm missing in infusion. It says 82, but everything. I don't know what I need to scan. Infusion. Yeah, it, huh. I'm at 82 currently, but like, and I don't know what you're missing. I that... think it's, it's definitely something because you, as you already probably guessed, the more you scan, the more the book unlocks if you able to scan the right item. Yeah, I mean, I managed to uh, unlock the uh, Rift Oromancy. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from that. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, to be honest, if I look at my uh, Thumbonomicon... There's one, I uh, apparently scanned enough stuff to be able to complete the the flux thing. I, I I can complete that. I'm just not doing it. I mean, oh. flux isn't. I mean, flux isn't part of the void. I mean, well, yeah, but I, I'm, I was still told not to get into it. Yeah, because flux can have some adverse effects on the in your environment and on yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yes, um, yes, Charlie. Thomanomicon is a weirdly long name. I agree. I just, I mean, yeah, but, um, but yeah, uh, you did choose an it, interesting place to take refuge. Well, it's because I wanted to this research not just Dominomicon stuff, but also the nightmare effect this place has. Yeah. Yeah, if you're, if you go outside my lab to, like, to yeah. what is essentially right here, 
You gained some adverse effects. <laughs> you I'm, gained some. I'm aware. Yeah, and I've been researching it. Yeah. I've learned I've learned that the several witch trees, just like Flux, seems to be able to handle f filtering out the nightmare effects as well. Mm -hmm. So it's That's not why there's so many trees. So it's not perfect, though. Yeah. yeah. It, it they go only one tree can only do so much. Mm -hmm. But I'm researching it. I'm trying to figure out a way to cleanse the area of it. But I'm missing some key details in my research. I give you good luck with that. Sorry, I just... Please, when I'm around here, don't. When I'm at least in this area, please don't mention Nightmare around me. Uh, okay. Uh, they were part of that thing, that the riot thing that happened here, apparently. Were you the one that threw around the liquid taint? No. I was told that was the reason why there's so much flux that built up in this area. That was from a different, um fight i was in the uh, i was in a different one around here there was a uh that it was from the eternal night when there were like three to four nightmares uh, i was gonna ask if there was a uniform for peacekeepers no uh, but you I'll can make one oh i'll just put the logo on me somewhere hmm. yeah i don't i okay. had the cape but uh, i kind of wanted to go back to my old look oh i see i see i mean i could sew something on there yeah Oh, do you wanna, do you wanna compare folk guy? By the way, the, uh, sure. You sure. okay? Sure, why not? No, all right, follow me. We can test it out of here. I don't want to test it out where I used to test it because, uh huh. Honestly, um, uh, that's, what, are, that's, what are we testing are, these on? By the way, oh uh, some random animals out here. Okay. Where Where did you guys go? Where oh, are you? Are. Wait, moment. Oh, yeah, right. There you are. Go to right here. Um, right. No, Charlie, you can't eat, so why would I? All right, eat? I'll show you this one first. Uh, where's the, here? I'll go to the sheep over here. Mhm. Mm Not stealing if it any will... gifts. Ooh. Okay. So multi mining, huh? Yep. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> near that. I'm guessing. I'm guessing using a bit of plan with the fog effect with the mine. Kind of just. Yeah, just, uh, uh, it's a scatter, bolt, arcane mine, cloud, flux spell. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing the cloud, you had to sacrifice a bit of the power in order to make it that widespreading, but the effect that it, what, it spreads out that fast means that it's hard to get out of it quickly, which kind of would make up for the power. Like, yeah. Do, 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 do. Just about. I would not eat that meat, by the way. Not planning on it. Yeah, I'm gonna it's, burn it. The problem is Actually, it takes so, hold on. The main problem with the spell is that it's not really good in like when everyone's grouped up in combat, because mm -hmm. it could easily damage other people. But like if you're like have everyone gathered in one place, it's a good spell to use. Yeah, I also made a nice. I also made a mine, but I kind of went the opposite direction where I condensed mm. the power of the foci into making a singular mine, but mm -hmm. its power is that much increased. Uh, let me see. Well, we can do it on the horse over. Actually, there's a chicken mm -hmm. over here. There's a chicken right here. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, chicken. Yeah. Let's see if the chicken wanders into it. Frosty. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. It doesn't uh, last as long. What's a combination? Damn... What's your combination for that one? Uh, multi-linking actually. Oh, instead lovely. of focusing, instead of focusing one, fo I I basically created a perfect ice mine. Come basically on. combining, combining not just one gelum crystal into it, but about four of them all together, mm -hmm. created an extremely dense but extremely powerful ice mine. Lovely. So uh, here's this other one. If you can move. Yep. Oh. Nice fireball with a bit of a tracking on it. Uh, yeah, it's app. fire and ice. Yeah, tracking. Oh, actually, funny enough, same thing actually. And it, it's a good combination. Oh, and, it is. By the way, chat, I did show off the flame spell. I, I showed yeah. it. Oh. Yes, you can have a flint and steel and do the same mm -hmm. thing. 
Yeah, or I, I mean, or any night you could just um. Oh yeah, fire flux bolt. Or I don't thing to test have this. foci. I'm just. Oh, I don't know exactly if this one will be useful or not. Flux fire, nice. Yeah, we love flux fire. I have something similar actually, but it's an ice form. I I have one like that, but uh. He's an icy man. One day his fingers will be frosty. Nice. Uh, I created just to focus on the power. I didn't. I think I have one that's actually similar to that, actually. Hold on. Nah, I didn't create the smoke effect. I'm still experimenting to see what kind of is like the best for yeah. the best situation. Yeah, of course. This one. Yeah. This yeah. one is one of my favorites, though. I created this one just for fun, though. I don't know if it's ever going to be useful, but. but yeah. A that bolt do? that contains all four elements. That's a thing. Yeah. Fire, ice, earth, and wind. That seem like it'd go together. Do you know how? Fire and ice. Do you know how useful uh, that is in <laughs> battle? Nope, I haven't tested it on anything yet. Here, test it on me. Have all my runic shielding armor on. Okay. That did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I kind of figured. I had to divert the power quite a bit. The complexity of putting four different elements together really shot up. Yeah. The, the one good thing about it is, though, no one person resists all four elements, though, so that is yeah. one benefit of it. Here, uh, do you have armor on? Yeah, I have armor on. Nope. Flux bolt. Nice. One heart. Cool. I feel like it does more without the runic shielding, but yeah. Oh, it, prob prob it probably does. Okay, then let me show you this one. Uh, let me see. Huh. This one's one of this one's actually one of my new favorites, actually. So, it was an accidental, but I accident I basically created an ice machine gun. Okay. The, uh, Lily, you don't want to look at it. Uh, okay. yeah, no, uh, I'm just gonna. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. It's basically, got to spam, basically. So you know. It's, it has power, and since you know my gauntlet is more geared towards Jellum, it uh gives me a lot more of. <laughs> Bobby, I'll be mind. I'm just gonna quickly um. Yeah. I, I have to AFK real quick out of yeah, character, guys. I have to AFK. Uh, yeah, you're good. Uh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. good. Um, you're good. There, there's you're good. One. Yeah, uh, I, one moment. I need to. Uh, this is out of character. I need to. I'm gonna. I'm swear to God, I'm not AFK yet, you little twit. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I need to have. I'm just gonna assign you a lot of work. There. Okay, just go sit Life down. Now. I need to have ear trigger warning. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it kind of goes along with any of Lily's stream, really. I mean, I have my stream turned down. You guys should have me turned down. No, you're at normal 100, so. Yeah, yeah you should have me turned down. <laughs> Anyways, oh yeah. Um, Anyways, I'm one's... actually AFKing. Right. Yeah, this one, uh, during, uh, there. There's not really any mods you can test this on, so I'll just show you it, really. Basically, mm -hmm. it's not really too effective, but, like, if you're in, like, a battlefield, and since my, um, my gauntlet's more geared towards Vidium spells, um, mm -hmm. basically, just fill uh, a battlefield with a bunch of arcane mines, and just spread them across the ground, and just let your enemies fall into your little trap. Oh, yeah, no. That was one of the reasons why I created the ice mine, the ice version, because I can spam about three or four of them in about three or four seconds. I mean, yeah, I mean, did my destroyer spell that I actually got from my chat just uh, credit to credit to flame? Anyways. Oh, uh, don't try to create flux seal, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Who would try that? I did because my chat told me to. Of course <laughs> they did. Of course, of course. It creates. It creates a black, broken folk guy. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Oh, yeah, also, uh, do you want to know some other things I made that I don't think Swan would really appreciate? As long as you don't create any rifts here. Sure, I mean, they won't. I mean, I made a primal cutter. Hmm, that's part of... I remember researching that. Well, then researching the book, but reading about that. That's creates... It's a powerful tool, multi-use... It can dig, pick no, it's a primal crusher. Hmm. Well, if I They're remember similar. correctly, that these things give you plenty of warping when using them, though. <laughs> uh, it gives you warping, too. 
So yeah. not, not more than the armor. Actually, yeah, it is kind of more than the armor. And then I made my own void sword. Yeah, of course. I could I would not be using that warping stuff, honestly. I'm happy with the with the basic uh, good side of Godomcraft stuff. Fair. I mean I have one of those too, but um Yeah. Yeah, I mean I just find the use in the void. I mainly use it because it's more powerful than a lot of other things. Well, and not how the main focus of the fo well, ironically, fo focus of the folk guy don't really improve or deep or are not, or weaker than any of the void counterparts. I guess the only part that they'd be weak, stronger in is the machine variants or the or as you pointed out, like the sword and all that. Yeah, I mean, also I mainly use a lot of flux and vidium and stuff because it breaks through armor and kills enemies quicker and when we're going against the edict it's more useful to try and get them out as oh. fast as possible that's why i created the firestorm though this thing i tested it against uh one of the during the edict fight and this thing broke the armor very quickly fair fair enough i mean honestly Fire tends uh, to break oh the my, armor very honest. Oh my god, wait. Actually, you're a genius, Flame. Anyways. What? Uh, Flame just said, honestly, save a Flux heal bolt for Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... I wish you could just, uh... I kind of wish you could just, uh... Heal and then damage at the same time, but that seems to be breaking some rules in Thomcraft or something. Yeah. Yeah. But, man... God, Kane is, Kane is a really threatening voice. Yeah. I, I can see. actually do an impression of it. <laughs> if you want to hear my impression. Sure, I've never actually heard that guy other than that one time, so. But you do kind of have an idea on what his voice sounds like, right? Yeah. Alright, also this one's kind of out of character, everyone, just because I kind of wanted to show Mario my impression for my chat to see the impression as well. So, chat, who's ready for a good old Kane impression? <laughs> I want I want to hear the eyes in chat. I want to hear the eyes in chat. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'm waiting. Don't mind me. I'm out of character currently. I just want to hear. Yeah. All right. You vessels are nothing but pathetic and annoying. It's really beginning to test my patience. I guess Rowan was right, though. S vessels are simply all talk. Hmm. There we go, everybody. Love the impression. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try it? <laughs> I'm good. My boy, actually, my voice has been a little hoarse as of late. I caught a, I caught. It. You remember that cold I told you I got a few days back? Yeah. Yeah. It's been messing with my throat. It's been uh, unable. I've been unable to do my full range, if you know what I mean. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you something else. Oh, what do you got? So, use this. Now, you know how m I've been finding some tools. I've been helping out my jellum aspect. Uh huh. And well, let me just equip my greater ice and. What does that some do? Basically, this wand right here that I found in the aether while exploring, oh, yeah, basically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. basically, gives me some extra ice components. Did you hear a villager? I just heard the hmm. That was weird. Anyway, wait, I hear it now again. Do you hear it? I'm searching your homes. Is anyone here who's threatening and wants to be killed? It sounded like it was coming from underground, actually. Is there a village underneath your village? I don't think so. You heard? I'm, I wasn't just hearing things, right? I, I mean, I kind of heard something. But, like... Uh, it's probably I don't nothing. I don't hear have you anymore. looked up? Have you looked in that tower? Yeah, that was the first. That's how. I, that's the first thing. That's the straight thing I went to straight when I came in this area the first time. It was during my. It was during my starting days that they took me here mm -hmm. as a 
and immediately I kept getting murked because all I had was the, the diamond equipment they gave me by this giant knight guy. Interesting. Uh huh. Oh Jesus! Giant <laughs> knight guy. Ow! Oh wait, right, right I, right. I still got the ice guys following me. Oh, wow. by the way, you can't see clouds, can you? You can't see two little clouds beside me. I'm so glad. No. No. no more. Yep. Okay, that proves that. Yeah, they can only be seen by me. Well, yeah. Yeah, personally, I'm not really one of the types of people who really cares to look into the Aether or the Twilight. I don't even care about the Nether either, really. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's a new person in my chat that hasn't really experienced too much of Mythos. Welcome to Mythos! Um, good luck! Welcome to Mythos! Here, wait, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Uh... Ow, you little prick! <laughs> you fucking... I will get a bow and arrow and shoot you down one day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're sensei, Lily. What? Oh, Ow, shoot. you Sorry. bitch! Sorry. I these don't go away that quickly, but that should heal you up. I know. <laughs> yeah, the only downside to these clouds is they don't really go away that quickly. Mm. Yeah, I just got food. <laughs> anyway, um, you already saw that healing, and then I just have the basic, you know, light casting and warding. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I also have this one, too. Mm -hmm. I also have this one, too. The, uh, just a fireball. Lovely. This fireball. I created it because when I was fighting, uh, I was fighting a creature that was a little out of my reach of the bolts. I decided, you know, fireball should be uh, a a uh, fireball version of a spell should be what bridges that gap. Yeah. <sighs> and then mm. just a basic ice bolt with a bit of fire to kick into it. I kind of wish we can go above the fifty with the greater folk guy, but what can you do, right? They're making ice puns. Yeah, it's fine. Harley made an ice pun. Yeah. So. So yeah, tell me how is um everyone, so Mario, how's everyone in the library doing currently? Yeah, everyone's doing fine. We're kind of investigating a ongoing mystery there right now, though. Uh huh. Yeah, there's for some reason high levels of flux keep <laughs> gathering in I've, the library. Yeah, I have no. I've been there. I have absolutely no idea what happened on your goddamn area that, in Lyondell that made it so flux filled. Or mm -hmm. We don't know either. I created a. You already know the machine, right? The flux, flux condenser, cleaner? yes. Yeah, the flux condenser. I created a mach I created that machine over there. Cleaned an entire area to zero. Moved the machine to another area to clean that area. And guess what happened? It refilled. Oh yeah. Very quickly, like normally, like it would under be understandable. You know, going from a chunk to chunk, it'd be like I don't know, like two or three level right up a yeah. few days after, right? Yeah. Went straight up to twenty. What in the world? Huh. I I have been we have been trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Interesting. So weird. Yeah. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I my guess is some, there must be like something underground. Something. Is there a? I mean, a normal thing that raises the warp level would be a rift. We would be, we would be able to detect a rift if, even if it was underground, though, is the issue. That is true. And rifts don't rifts like go away or something. Uh, Over time, yeah. Been, I mean, you could also yeah, actually, but it's been a while I mean, though, right? You could easily get rid of them with a void siphon, which I've been craving to make, but <laughs> guessing that's a little more expensive to make. Well, no, I just don't have a reason to. Hmm. If there's a rift, then I'll find a reason to, because uh, with void siphons, you can get void seeds. I mean, you should I'm probably... Oh, I'm you aware. Should, you should probably actually get it before you get a rift, so that you don't have a rift before you get it. You know what? You have a great point. You know what? I'm okay with this. I get an excuse to craft it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did I uh, do? You just uh, created a big problem for the world. It's not a problem. It gets rid of them. Oh, I thought you were making one that make a rift stay. No, void siphons suck out the rift and create void seeds out of them. 
Yeah, and I'm not looking forward to what those void seeds are going to do. Especially uh, since when she's... You're able, to kinda, you're able to put them in a cauldron, combine them with iron ingots, and then get void ingots to make some void armor and void stuff. <laughs> yeah, figured. The uh, one thing I did not want to do, for sure, Yeah. Uh, is ever scan them, because that unlocks a dangerous section of the book called the Eldritch section. Well, technically, scanning a crimson portal first is what unlocks it, and then you, and then you scan a void pearl, a little void yeah. seed. Well, I just made sure whenever when I did get some void pearls from closing a rift using a, you already know what it what it is a yeah the normal calamity. thing you use yeah the calamity thing yeah the normal thing you use yeah the uh, instead of scanning them and learning more about that section I. Gave them to Swan, and I think they put it into a into a hidden safe. Sounds like Swan, Lock, locking up that stuff, yeah. Yeah, and that kind of act kind of earns put me on Swan's. You know, this person can be trusted around me with thumb. Oh, I'm aware of the list. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean that that's fair. I mean, when I met them, they weren't pretty keen on Thumbcraft. Oh, they still aren't. Swan's the never keen on it. Why do you think the only reason Swan let me put up the machine at the uh, at the library was because they trusted me? Yeah, Swan hates it, even though it's really useful and also Thomcraft spells break or can go through the power armor that she oh so loves. Yeah. Which the edict use that shit. They use power armor. Well, no, they use Thomcraft spells that go through the power. Oh, yeah. I need to create some stronger runic shielding, not on the ring, because putting more runic shielding on a stellar ring will cause warping. Well, technically, it, it has the chance of causing warping, but... A chance that I don't think they're willing to take. Eh, but I, well, have, I'm but I think I have read somewhere... Wink, wink. That uh, you can put it on individual pieces of armor for three levels each. Uh, yeah, that's what I put on my void armor that I have on right now. Wait, did I just like miss something? I completely forgot what I was saying, or what know. you guys were saying. What were you guys saying? Uh, putting war putting sh runic shielding on individual pieces oh. of armor. Oh yeah, you've done much that. I have not done that. I only have it on the ring at the moment. I have put a runic oh, shielding yeah. too on all of my void armor. Hmm. The only oh. downside of it is, I feel like, is, well, <laughs> I think the higher the level you have, the more no. viz it costs to maintain it. Yeah. Although, actually, have you, um, have you actually I've... seen the biggest, um, um, like, leftover from a rift? Uh, the biggest one? Yeah, have you seen it? You mean a, you mean a, like a crater um, that was literally left by a rift. Have you seen it? I don't think so, no. Oh, my tower's right by it. You want me to show you? I suppose. I can also show you my tower and stuff as well. I mean, you can show me oh. around your place, so. Under your tower? Actually, we haven't shown you everywhere if you want to see it. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, Let me see it. everything else, and then okay. we can head over. All right. So this is the main room and the trophy room. We got the, we got the, yep, we got sorry. the stuff. Yeah, sorry. Your area is laggy, like, right outside your house, and as soon as you go oh, yeah, in, it's we... fine. Yeah. Um, you have a well, glass sword? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we also have this. And a giant sword. How do you hold that? We don't know. It's just magically <laughs> enchanted. It's probably the, no, it's the tail. Uh, I, yeah. Um, the... The flame sword. I oh, just, I, I, have, I have one of those, but I crafted it. You're not getting a room, Charlie. I can craft one as well. I have, the the, I have the hydra blood for it. The only thing is, that one was given to me by Caffey, so. Sentimental value. Honestly, yeah, don't. Honestly, yeah. Don't, and don't then, throw anything away from Caffey. Yeah. Um, well, and then I got a knight sword, a, another fire sword from the Aether, and an ice sword. Lovely. Oh yeah, what those is... annoying pieces of shit that those goblins have near my house. Anyways, we can go up. No, yeah, I'm sword? going downstairs or upstairs. Yeah, I, don't know, I was following him. For I, I mean, I figure upstairs would be better. This yeah. is the second floor. Here is our cake. Very oh yeah, the inf Oh yeah, this cake infinitely refills the more you eat it. 
I have sustainer. Oh, well, have I, have su I have a sustainer. I don't really need to eat anymore, really. Yeah, but it's still good to taste every now and then. Eh. Mm -hmm. Eating wastes time. Uh, we have our thumb craft room. Interesting. Or one of them. Yeah, this is where my ma this is where all my crafting happens. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Interesting. No, I'm gonna be turning this into a uh, into a bath, if you know what I mean. Yeah. A sanity soap bath. Oh my God, Lila joined the enchanting game. Enchanting in a theory room. I see. I see. Up here is Mario's room. Yep. Lovely. Oh, I love the horn. Yeah, that was given to me by a friend I made over in the Twilight Forest, actually. Huh. Mm. This, this goat god person. I actually learned for, later from Mint that this that the goat used to be worshipped. Oh, yeah, That's Mint. Oh, yeah, Mint. I know her. Mm -hmm. There's a contract with... I have a contract with her. She still needs to finish building my house. And this is an observatory. Observatory! Lovely. Yeah. Well, from Mint's... what I found out, Mint just joined the library, so... Lovely. Honestly, yeah. that makes sense for Mint, honestly. Oh, you want to see something cool, though? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I gotta take off my boots to get down the ladder. This, uh, yeah. this, um, this is the Lamp of Cinders. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. it, it holds an eternal fire, and the ever the, the wood that is basically immortal in the twilight, this fire is the only thing strong enough to burn it away. Interesting. Maybe I should take a trip to the twilight, but eh. Hmm. It's not really worth my current time. Peacekeep peacekeepers are kind of dealing with a fun thing right now. Oh, what okay, are they dealing now with? Now I get to deal with that fun We're thing. We're kind of dealing with, um... Nah, you don't really need to worry about it. Anyways, let's see the rest of your place here. They're dealing oh, you, already, with stuff. you already saw this stuff down here. Yeah. Like... Yeah, what's down this other stairway? Oh. Uh, oh, that's that? That's kind of connected up here. No. Uh, this is Lily's room. That yeah. they kind of took over. I was going to make this into something, but then Lily kind of just moved in and just took this room. Okay. Lovely. You asked me if I wanted it. Hmm. I'm aware. I feel like the cobblestone could be a better block, mm -hmm. but anyways. <sighs> this is going to open. What in yeah. the lag oh. spike? <laughs> yeah, they, these doors. I, actually, I got this do these doors from the toilet as well. Yeah. Door. Okay. And What's then down, down here. here is my storage room. Storage, I see. Lovely. Yeah, this is a storage room. It took Lovely. us forever to make it and organize everything. Oh, yeah, I see. You know what? Nice Wait, place you this have. Is, this, is, this is my mini, um, this is my mini trophy rack. Yeah. I have a This is a nice here. setup you have here. Also yeah. where I keep Charlie. I'm trying to make this lab one of the forefronts to learning Thumbcraft. Yeah. That's my tower, bad. my tower is more of just for my own personal use, really. Yeah. Oh, my golem forge is right here as well. <laughs> oh, golem forge. Oh, yeah. Actually. Yeah. We're... If you behave, you get a room. But if you don't behave, you don't get a room. So one thing though, as I learned. Yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna have to try to create some things, but. <laughs> I want to create defenders, little fighters to defend uh -huh. my place again. Yeah. Fortunately, they're pretty dumb when I create them. I need to try to find a way to make them smarter. Uh, then you get a brain. Yeah, but I would need. Wait, you would. Oh right, of course you would know that section. Oh, thank you for the raid. That section, that section of the uh, book is pretty warp heavy. Sure, kind of. Wait one moment. I want to just do a quick. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Huh. It's not saying I'm new. I'm not, not Wait, saying I'm learning anything you? new. Interesting. The, unless, you might. You already have this. You more than likely have this already unlocked if you already have like the entire golem section. Mm. Uh, I don't have the whole thing. Mm. Mainly just because golemancy isn't cool. really one of my main things. Nope. I'm yeah, kind of learning. I'm trying to learn almost everything about Thumbcraft, honestly. <laughs> kind of like right. a way of like, because I want to create a book one day, a yeah. full a gu a guide on how to use Thumbcraft in a safe manner, without <sighs> without is... going into like warping or anything. Why does it sound so much like a library member? 
that's a compliment. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Yeah, okay. and plus, from what I already told Swan about it, and guess what they already said? What? That that book would probably they would make sure that book is mass produced. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea, but like, I from what I understand, <laughs> from what I understand, a lot of people don't know how to use Stormcraft, and when they first go into it. Make a lot of mistakes that end up costing a lot in damage and yeah. self harm. I, see, I like the idea, but I'm. We're gonna go through Oncar. Let's just go this yeah. way. Yeah, but I. The main thing with it, like, I like the idea, and yes, Stomcraft does need to be taught better, and, like, probably a better instruction manual and stuff, but, like, I feel like keeping the void information is a little bit because at least is it at least going to mention the void oh, and it, it will it will it will mention the benefits but also the the, the downsides of it like okay. void can void can, void can, de can give you a quick power increase can give you a boost in the in combat and defenses but the okay, downsides to it is of course the warp the warping okay. and how it caused permanent <laughs> mental damage, permanent bodily changes, and such as like that. And if you were to use this section to use extreme caution and to have someone around you as a backup in case you go insane and need to be put and need to be stopped. Fair. Okay. Well, as long as you're mentioning it, as long as you're no, also it, mentioning the benefits be, of it, it and would, the it downsides, would, I think that's it would be, fair. It would be dumb not to mention it because. Then if they accidentally find it, they're gonna be even more curious about it. Yeah. Well, at least at least you're putting it in there. I was kind of expecting you to not really put it in there. No, it'd be like in a second edition about like the void and I about the like, warping. I feel void like you should mention it in the first one though. It'd be a lot safer. Oh, oh it, it is. In each section, it would explain what parts of like Where each section. It would oh, explain. God, I forgot that you're a lost person. Uh, oh, there you are. I yeah. can spot you guys, but you guys can jump really high. Do you need oh, boots, right. the traveler? No. I think they already have boots, don't you? I have oh. boots. Oh, it's a cloud stepper you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that thing is not cheap to make sometimes. I'll get to work on it for you, Lily. Yeah, did you oh, yeah, since you, since you guys are in the same. Oh, yeah, I guess they. On. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make it for them because they're they're so they're currently learning through Thomcraft on my place and that's gonna be a section on its own, so they should learn how to make it. I'm pretty sure I have it already unlocked. Oh. I just need to make it. <laughs> Hold on, I should tell you this story real quick. Oh so, no. On the first couple days of her learning Thomcraft, I'm down in my lab working on working on Foca on a new Foca, right? I'm trying uh -huh. to figure out how to make like a powerful mine. Trying not to jump here. And all that and trying to figure out what my element is. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I'm just sitting there reading, and all of a sudden I hear a boom. Uh huh. And I find I mentioned this already. I didn't get to hear the. No, I told you I exploded the porch. And then I go outside, and I quickly see Lily trying to clean up some kind of mess they made. Uh huh. I exploded Here, the porch. Um... Here, um, you guys, uh, go ahead. Just meet me at the, um, you know the area, like, in between spawn and, like, all the signs and stuff? I guess? I yeah, go there. Uh, I have, uh, something I need to... I just something I want to do here real quick, so just, uh, meet me there. Nope, I do not. Have Mario one. knows where it is. All right. All right, I'll be, uh, I'll be quick. I'm really quick about this stuff, so... All right. Just remembered... All right, let's let's give Ruda a little bit of a visit. Let's give Ruda just a small little visit. Just pay some respects, you know. Even though I didn't really know her all that well, but still get to pay some respects. Um, I'll just take this mushroom, you know. <sighs> Hey, Ruda. How you doing? Just, uh, paying you a little bit... Wait, can I place this anyway? Paying some respects, you know. Uh... 
There you go. Didn't really know you that well, but I do know that um, a lot of people said you were good. I really only met you the one time um, when you showed us around East Haven, but um, other than that, um, don't I didn't really get to know you well enough. I'm sorry that you um, passed. I'm not good at these types of things. I, didn't, I hope you're resting in peace, Ruda. I hope you're good and stuff. Yeah, I'm not good at these types of things. I wish you good peace, but I have to get going. Alright. Let's let's just get going, let's go. Before I get before like someone just decides to come up to me here. I know someone will manage to. All right, let's go. Let's get to spawn. Don't want to keep. Don't want to keep them waiting. I can't tell if I'm either annoyed or if I enjoy Mario's constant talking about being smart. I can't tell if it's annoying or if I like it. I I really don't know. Then again, library member, honestly, they they are smart and probably like to talk a lot. Personally, I'm not a talker. Mostly just kind of nod my head, follow orders, and then disagree when I feel like it. Uh, Alright. Well, at least he's putting the void in the book, I guess. That's more than I expected. Really? That's more than I really expected? They're here. Where the fuck are they? I told them to wait for me here. God damn it. I told them to wait for me here, god damn it. Did they go to spawn? God fucking. No, they aren't at spawn. Where the fuck are they? Where? Where the fuck are they? Why are, wait. Who's, wait, I saw something. Hello? Where uh, the I'm fuck are you? Oh, we're at where you were, we first come into the world. You told us. I, I mean, said I the intersection between spawn. <laughs> I knew it! Mario, you lied to me! No, no, no. I just came over here because I wanted to explore a bit more of Spawn since I never really spent that much time here, honestly. Fair. Fair, fair. I know where they're talking about. Yeah, the only, I only recently came back here for this, for the books over here. These so are how old. to get to the Aether. Well, that too. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I never oh, yeah, read those. I, I was just told. I have that book. You could have just grabbed mine out of the library. Oh, I just wanted a copy for the personal collection anyway. Well, you Anyways. could have grabbed it out of the library still. Anyways, let's follow me. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Mario. So as a library member, would you all be a little bit intrigued by um, a few books I have in my selection? Depends. What are they? Uh, they're basically um, Venus Diaries. Or... <laughs> Basically, uh, they're diaries that um, were written by the original leader of the edict. Actually, hmm, those could be very useful in general. Actually, they're kind of how we found Rex found them at the uh, castle where all the void armor was. You have them. Hmm. What? You yeah. Do you have them. Uh, cat made copies. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, and that could just be, and that's just history in general. So. Yeah. yeah, we would definitely be interested in adding that to the collection. Well, you can't take them, but, like, I'll let you read them. Hmm. Or you can, like, write down the stuff in them, but, like, I kind of want to keep them. Yeah, have fun with that. I can, yeah, I, can make, I can make some written copies. Yeah, because basically, personally, from what I've read of those books, I kind of 
honestly agree with the old edict, honestly, at least with their viewpoint. Like, what was their old viewpoints? Their old viewpoint was based upon balance. They basically wanted to take out, according to the journals, um, they wanted to take out the sun civilization because light was overtaking the world and darkness was being plunged away. You, that shouldn't be right. Just like, just as there is, just as there is the, uh, just as there is darkness, there the is light. Vis, and just yeah, as there exactly. Is, uh, light, and there is darkness. So all that, yep. The opposite of this flux is what exists. Keep it exactly. in balance. Exactly. And basically, the sun civilization, according to the books, was threatening that balance, so the edict took it into their own hands. And then, let me guess the edict got too powerful. One member wanted to take it a step further, killed the original leader, and took the edict down a much darker path. That is ruin, yeah. Got it. Because, according to the books, um, um, it's ah, pretty, pretty assumed. Um, line. It's pretty uh, assumed within the books. Uh, Rowan's the one See, who killed Venus. A of, Venus. A lot of people would not want to read anything, especially anything from the Edict. But that's a moral. That's a lesson on its own to of a group getting too powerful. Someone who saw that as not a means of keep keeping the balance, but someone who yeah, basically go. We're gonna go to my house well, first. Because it's but easier. Yeah, we're going to your house. But how a group can get corrupted from their original ideals into something more twisted and how yeah. and the dangers of it. Personally, so, I believe that the All Knower uh, picked Rowan to be the new one because the All Knower wanted darkness or something instead of the balance and just wanted place, the or? sun civilization out of the way. Is this your place? Uh, yeah. Well, this is my home, anyways. My tower is somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah. Where are you? I'm... Nice place. Right yeah. here. I have a nice little um. As you can see, I have this nice little um, plant growth thing. We have a bunch of corn ourselves. Yeah, I mostly oh, invest in sugar cane right? for books and stuff. Oh yeah, I have a little sugar cane farm. Yeah, d don't mind the flux levels here. They're a little high, but they used to be higher. But... Let me guess. The machine is uh working on it, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, uh, come on in. Nice place. <laughs> of course, you got a martini. Of course, yeah. But you got it more decorated, and there's a room here now. Yeah, uh, I'm serving. Uh, I serve a uh, cherry juice, pumpkin bread, and venison steak. Oh, nice. you actually have things in your house. Surprise. And then a cup of coffee in the middle. Wait, what's that? Cup of coffee what? in the middle, and then cherry juice. <sighs> Anyways, if we come on up the stairs. Hmm. Uh, this is, wow. that's my room. Uh, this is my trophy room. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. You did the same thing I did. This is your first gauntlet yep. that you made? Yeah. I have something, I have something similar as well, actually. I put my gauntlet, if you probably noticed, my first yeah. gauntlet was on top of the, uh, was on it was in an item frame as well. And then oh, and then the armor for my first ever mission. Stole that off a dead edict guy? Yep. I have a gauntlet here. Yeah, and then uh this is my library. Yeah, it's I don't trust any foci you've created for that, not gonna lie. I don't have any foci. I don't Yeah, know all I can ask is probably just don't go into my room currently. Oh? Something wrong in there? No, I just don't like people in their room. Nice, a lot yeah, of books. This, yeah, this is my library. Yeah. Been in your room before? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, all my... Venus. What happened to your roof? Uh, Mint hasn't no finished. Roof, yeah. Mint hasn't finished it. This is going to be a very much more complicated tower, isn't it? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, then this is just one of my storage slash enchantment room. Yeah. Anyways, huh. let's head out. Uh, y'all can go down first. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I do. Qu actually, I, I didn't invest question. in one thing. I was what? just gonna question this right here. These yeah. scrolls? Yeah, what about oh, it? Those. Are these what I think they are? Tattered scrolls, yeah. They give you a warp. Uh, I yep. keep them in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah fun little thing. Mario. He's had those for a while. Yeah, I got what? them from uh, the Eda camp. 
basically um magic mirror yeah I, I kind of just wanted it anyways head down we're gonna go to my tower next go no, go right. down. I'm good. Wait, is Lily already downstairs? You already know. <laughs> Lily. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Oh, there's an automated crossbow. Yeah. Lily, are you out of my house? <laughs> They're on your second floor balcony. <laughs> what balcony? I don't have a balcony. Oh, I guess they made one. Anyways, let's go. Actually... Okay. If anything, I may have a proposition for you. What? There are some sections I refuse to go into, but obviously you have, such yeah. as the fact you have an automated crossbow. Yes. I'm going to have a project in the future that's going to need some more defenses. Mm-hmm. Because I won't be able to defend that area forever or be there all the time. Yes. Basically, so, you're asking me to make more of these for you. Essentially. See sure. If I can... Why not? I don't I have a give problem. You the, I can give you the materials for it. Sure. I'm okay with that. Anyways, follow me. Oh, yeah, I also have a little uh, breeding system down here. No, oh, jeez. Poor cows. <laughs> I need it for books, okay. I'm, I'm aware. Mass oh, cow. You, and you have to... Wait, what is the... What is the grabbing essential for? Uh, It's to power it. Oh, it just needs essential in general, huh? Yeah. Anyways, off this way. I need to create like a vis generator or something just to, because I have too much Terra, Terra's uh, Essentia. Yeah, I mean, if you have too much of it, you can just use it for flux condensers. Oh, I do, but there's only so much the machine can clean in one chunk. I mean, yeah. And use it up. All right, let's head this way. A lot of Terra, a lot of it. Yeah, I'll also try to be careful of the oil pits around here. Why are there fires? Why are there fires? Uh, from the cows I burn. Do we even question it? No, obviously not. It's Chris. It's for Wait. the leather. Wait, Chris, hold on. What? Why do you burn We're... them? We're, uh, leaving one person behind. Oh, god fucking damn it. Be faster! No, you prick! You two act like you're a married couple. Ew. Why would I want to marry this one? Yeah, no. Ew. Ew. Only reason I could ever see that happening is if Chris purposefully accidentally got himself into some issue. And that's what? such a low probability. What? Honestly, I'd expect you to do something really stupid. Like, what? Like, I don't know, um... There's probably only, like, one person in this world who I would ever slightly have my eyes on. It's not me. Yeah, definitely not you. Where did you, you guys go? Oh my, oh my fucking Christ. You're as slow as just Rex's ability to change an opinion. Mm. Which is super slow, by the way. Where the fuck are you? You seem like you've worked with Rex quite a bit, huh? Uh, occasionally. Oh, there you are. Up the hill. Well, in the few interact oh. in the on the few interactions I've had with the with the guy, he's they were not pleasant. Again, he's a nice guy. Ow. Just well, oh, okay, maybe nice. He's a good leader, but he's just not. He doesn't really care about people's feelings. Eh, debatable on the good leader part. From what I, mean, I saw, from what I saw. Yeah. Okay, well, his plans work. Yeah. As proven Although, by Vanguard. Yeah, but wasn't it also him that lost Vanguard in the first place? I mean, yes, and I'm pretty sure... I mean, yes, obviously, and also, originally, he just wanted to get the city back rather than the people, but... Oy. We voted against it. A majority, anyways. No, thank you for that. I would ah. not have gone along with a plan that involved sacrificing the people. Anyways, welcome to my home. Look at my tower. This is my arena. An arena, huh? Yeah. It's a tiny hole. Where you just test out your stuff, I'm guessing? Sparring, mostly. I just spar with other vessels occasionally. Ooh, nice. We got a 
got some viz regenerators here, huh? So that way, if you you can just keep regenerating yeah. the viz you used from the uh, yeah. Mirror. And here's my tower. It's small, but I mean, like I like small. I like it to be small. So. Oh wait. Oh shit. Wait. One moment. Don't come near here. Nope. 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 The turret nope, turns would nope, be in it. Nope, no. No. Nope. Uh, they target players. Okay, you're good now. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> My tail is getting so wet. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> Sorry, I have them set to attack players because there's a couple people who I think would probably try and stop my um shenanigans here. That's fair. No, Mostly really? swan. Oh, of course, you have liquid taint back here. Liquid death. It's very nice. <laughs> I Just don't ever, don't ever let, don't ever let a, a certain someone over here. Yeah, it's yeah. Kills, so. You know he'll try to drink it. I know, and also, I mean, you mean Jazzy? Yep. The person who I hate the most. Oh, you hate them, huh? Yeah. Very cramped. Yeah, I mean, I'm mostly the only one in here. True. I guess that is fair. And I'm the only one I want in here most oh, of the time. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I'm levitating. Accidentally... Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Uh, flux condenser. Uh, this is where I make my essential as well. Uh, no offense. I feel like you mostly condenser not to clean up the area, but probably to keep using it for your vidium stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, come on up. I mean, it has a double purpose. Hey, chat. How's it going? Nice ritual. Oh, jeez. Hey, chat. How's it going? No, we can't drink the liquid death. Do oh, I, I've heard. Do it. I've, do it. Do I've, it. No. I've seen. I've seen a couple of these actually. These containers that have the void metal toppings. What do these exactly do? Does these also have like viz uh, discounts? Nothing. Oh, just aesthetic. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, just about. Uh, another cleaner. Huh. Very nice place. Yeah, I like my. Yeah. I think <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> This does not look happy. It's my oh. chat. It's my chat. You also talk to this being you call chat? Yes. That's my, the brain in a jar. Chinese. They I... don't look happy, though. Uh, that's right, because I haven't streamed in a week. Anyways. <laughs> 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 I had to make that joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been like two weeks for me, how do you think mine feel? Yeah, fair uh, enough, fair enough. But yeah, this is my nice little tower, I kind of like it. Oh yeah, I need to turn that one edict camp up on that hill into a... I need to restore it. To what? What was it before, a town? Yeah. You think the people would move back, or...? Uh, all the people are dead. Okay. But, just a... You probably remove any trace of the edict, huh? I'm gonna keep that tower there and just try and revamp it. De-edict de it? Basically. Oh, crucify. Wait, that sounds like crucify. Yeah, oh, I was about to say, I was about to freaking say. I'll crucify it. <laughs> That's a bad joke, but it's a joke <laughs> you'd make, so. Oi. Uh. A bit of low viz levels here, though. Hmm. It's fine. I'm guessing the re from what I learned, the vid regenerators don't really do all too much. They keep Swan away. Okay. Low viz, Swan no go. I guess my area would be perfect for for her. I guess because exactly. I keep high I keep high levels. Well, I mean, yeah. she still wouldn't go over there, though. I mean, hear me out. If Swan got into my tower, we all know what she would do there. I'll probably nuke the place. Uh, yeah, and I'd rather not ha happen. Cam would also probably try and stop my operations, which is why I have the liquid death there to try and keep Cam away. Hmm. Seems like you're, seems like you're, like, scared of some certain people finding your place. Yeah, that's why I have them like set to players. Don't, yeah, more like they don't want people to, you know, destroy their tower. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of just glad I've kind of flown under the edict's radar for right now. Honestly, because uh. 
Oh, I don't think I, I need on, it. Trust me. If I get on the Edict's radar, they're all being slaughtered to high heavens. Oh no, like, I don't doubt I could easily fight them off, but I'd rather not have my area destroy, have holes everywhere kind of deal. I swear if you do that to the house, I will... Honestly. Honestly, if this place gets destroyed by Edict, I don't really care. I'll just destroy everything they have. Hmm. But you know it's what like I mean. <laughs> like, it's not that we know that we can't defeat them. Like, I, from fighting a few of them and how easily they, some of them went down. The I'm knights pretty... are weaker than, the knights and those types of people are a bit weaker than. It's yeah, really the I... ritualists that are the main concern. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. When we, when we all threw a couple bolts at them, and granted my, my magic was much weaker during the assault. <laughs> Jeez. The, uh... You guys disappeared. The, uh, Not really. Your render distance is just slow. He was able He was able to shrug it off. And if I recall, he shrugged off Rex's attacks, so... I mean, yeah. So... Yeah, honestly... And... I'll... Like, I have no doubt that if all of us can become strong enough, we could defeat... We could defeat Kane at some point. It's mainly Rowan that I am concerned about us being yeah. able to defeat. Rowan's the true leader, correct? Yes, because considering the way Rex gets around Rowan, and he's one of our stronger fighters, it's a little bit concerning. Yeah. Who would you say is like the strongest from each from each, like, uh, faction so far. Well, Swan's the strongest out of you lot. Maybe Jazzy yeah. or ZK could probably outbeat her, but I'm not too sure. Hmm. Although I would say there's probably a person who I could bet could probably defeat Swan at some point, who is technically on your side. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I bet Adriata could beat all of your asses if she real if like she really wanted to again. You wanna do you do remember Adriata from what I remember what I from what I was told, Adriata tried to kill Swan, but Swan handily defeated her. Eh, I bet Adriata could try again. If yeah, she to wanted. be fair. To be fair, i from what I've talked to with Adriatic, me and Adriata got got talking quite a bit actually. Yeah, I've talked and, with her a bit as well. Mm hmm She was amused. Yeah, and she talks to me quite a bit as well. Mainly because I'm very curious about her people since we have no document, not much documentation about her race. Fair. But. What? I am more of. I honestly kind of just more of. I kind of just liked talking to her just as her rather than really caring about the race or anything. Yeah. Well, one I'm thing. Now, researcher. Well, yeah, well, well, I was honestly. talking. Chris was a little confused when I asked um, about literally everything but the scars on his arm. I don't know why he was expecting me to mention those. I, I, I didn't understand. Well, I was talking to Adriatic and other, and she went into detail about her routine to try to become stronger. So I know she's doing a lot more exercise and all that. And I, she's yeah. not interested in learning any magic, that's for sure. Well, of course. But she is interested in learning some, some aspects of uh, what was it? Water is. What hit you? Oh no, I'm just hungry. <laughs> God damn it! I already ate all the popcorn. Nope. <sighs> I ran out of the popcorn. Thank you. Oh, you need a sustainer. Anyways. No, yeah, probably. But no, the. Uh, what was I saying? But she was more interested in learning more about the. The thumbcraft aspect of water. She thinks that if she learns more of it, I think she can benefit from like some water aspects. Fair. You know, some now let's you know, see. Be able to move better in it. Now, of course, in Blood Oath, I think that's an obvious answer. Rex is obviously the stronger member of Blood Oath, obviously. Yeah. Peacekeepers, most likely Justin, but also Ellie as well could probably be a strong contender. Mm-hmm. I got to know Ellie quite a bit. <laughs> Actually, I... Ellie knows something Swan doesn't want her to know. <laughs> and that is, uh, if I can assume. Uh, what do you think it is? Well, I'm aware that she knows one piece of 
a romancy that most people don't get their hands on. Hmm. I actually didn't know that. Or at least something along those lines from what I, me and Sin have heard. Because yeah. well, me and I'll Sin probably... both want it, because we know that it exists. But anyways. Hmm. Well, that's something I'll probably try to learn later on as well. Yeah, but but anyway. Uh, yeah. But no, it's not something like that. It's like something about personal information. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. yeah. It, uh... I, I mean, then I wouldn't spread it around. But apparently Swan is worried that Ellie's going to spread it around. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, probably. Fair, honestly. I mean, I don't know what it is, but probably. Honestly, I'd, be kind of, I'd find it kind of amusing if Ellie did, actually. But um, oh, What do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it could be a list of things. It could be something embarrassing. It could be um like a... Like a, a, a story, a crush, a, 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 a mistake, uh, could be something that aggravates them. It could be anything, so just... It could be boom. anything. Shorter sentence. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then if we wanted to really think about it, um, I mean, I, <laughs> I hope, honestly... I hope, out of the people, I, there's one person who I really want to outmatch Rex, but I don't think that will ever happen, sadly. And who's that? I really want to see Marshy kick Rex's ass. <laughs> but uh, Marshy, if I recall, doesn't go into that much into magic or anything. I know, so. but I just want her to kick his ass. How would she do that, though? I don't know, but I want it to occur. Do you know how many times he has killed her? On the daily, I know. Yeah. Like, I just want to see her kill him once. Or beat him once. <laughs> oh. Even if it's a fluke. It's fine if you have to go, Charlie. Even if it's a fluke. It would be so amazing to witness. Hmm. Maybe I could look into giving Marshy something that could do the trick, actually. Just be like, you know, Marshy, have this. Please beat Rex one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, one of the weapons I think could do it is this weapon I found in the Twilight called the Tribo. Yeah. Basically, from what I understand, potion effects... Oh. The po potion effects can ignore basically almost everything Thumbcraft can do in terms of poisoning, damaging, that kind of stuff. And the tribal fires three shots. So mm -hmm. couple that with like uh, damage, instant it's damage to the arrows. Yeah. One of my favorite bows we have. Mike just did a trick, honestly. Oh yeah, on a, another note, actually, just because I'm curious, uh, how's Andrea doing? Oh, uh, she's doing okay. All right. I haven't seen her recently though, but I last time we spoke, they were asking for basically the starting the starting stuff for Thomcraft. That's nice for them. Yeah. They uh um, they really basically my area has become a very much of a hub mm -hmm. for people learning Thomcraft. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I'll help them out at some point maybe. Not, not give any, not give any bad stuff. Of course, I would never do that. Yeah, please don't. Yes, you would. I the don't. Last thing we need, I the only, last thing we need I only give last... people the good advice. I don't tell them how to yeah, get into the bad. Yeah, like not telling me that that was a crystal that was. Hmm. Well, that was for your own good. Or you could have told me that it does something, like gives me weird dreams. You wanted a pretty crystal. What did you want from me? You to tell me if I was gonna get a weird dream that leads me down a path of magic? magic? Eh, it's for your own good, really. To be fair, you're all that much stronger for learning it, at the least. Exactly. I did it for your own good. Don't- I still you. 
It's better than learning the tech shit. Oh, right. There's one thing you should probably fi fi be funny about. What? So, she was trying to learn how to you how to create certain things in the in the cauldron, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no. What did she do? So, she was she so she thought in her infinite wisdom that in order to create okay? to create something in the cauldron, you had to fill it to the brim with the with the certain essentia. Oh. Yeah. And when I told her that's not how you do it, she emptied an entirely full cauldron. Mm -hmm. That's how you rift up a place. Oh, I had to put Make my fixed. I had to essentia I had to put my essentia clean my essentia filter to the max. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. So you're telling me is, I uh I helped Lily out, and then Lily's being a dumbass. A little bit. Lovely. Uh, to be fair, I made certain, <laughs> I made certain mistakes on my first go as well. Lily saw me when I was first learning about ritual craft. <laughs> How I messed one up. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. Oh yeah, follow me. I forgot to show you the crater. <sighs> Oh, right, the whole reason. That, the whole here. reason we came over here, yeah. Follow me. Not that far. I just jumped off the cliff. Oh, uh, yeah. Your point. I was not that smart. No, I mean, it doesn't do any damage to me. Welcome to our I'm fine. No, I'm, go I'm good. Holy I'm good, Charlie. Holy, what was this Holy one fucking shit! Ah, uh, it's from, from good old Rift, buddy. Oh, wee. Was this a massive rift? <laughs> you would have to ask Ellie. <laughs> How big of a rift was it? The rift I saw was tiny. According to what, from what I've heard, Ovik and Lil and Ellie did this one. Like, it was a small rift that turned gigantic, or? I'm not, I don't know, man, but honestly, it's a sight to see. It's a rift. Well, this this is if you don't mind, I'll probably get a caricature of this of this crater, and probably mark it in the book of dangers of the rifts and what it can do. Yeah, do that. Oh, oh yeah, we call it Henri. So wait, 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 wait. This is just them experimenting with one rift. Yeah, this is them making a rift because this used to be. I'm pretty sure from what I've heard, this used to be where they lived. Oh God. <laughs> And they created one, and then, oh no. The only reason I could think this could happen is as soon as they made the rift, they put immediately a calamity bomb into it. Who knows, honestly? I don't know the story. Causality? Because you're supposed to, you don't put the causality thing into it right away. You have to wait until it stables out and then throw it in there. Or else there's too much energy to cause for the explosion. <laughs> Me you weren't even supposed to go in there, Lily. You're just an idiot. No, I couldn't see it. Here, we need to put a sheep in here. Uh. Hmm. You know, we should probably go home soon. God damn you. <laughs> I'm guessing you put a lot of uh, put of the focus into the timing of it, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it goes off when someone steps on it. Yeah, probably low damage, but the fact that it it's so widespread and and it lasts so long that it's going to be a... Uh... Wait, don't, Lily, don't go into the grass! Motherfucker! No, no, Lily, no, Lily, go into the grass. Yeah, I, I, I saw you almost land on that mine. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I mean, also it wouldn't do anything to me even if I stepped in it. It doesn't harm yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, they're set to not hurt. Unless it's already gone off and you wa and you wander into it. Don't. Wow, Lily. Hmm. Ow, that's actually gonna kill me! <laughs> no, no! Well then. Uh, you know she's gonna be back in my tower and gonna get very angry, right? Yeah. Don't. Uh, well, Lily. Where's Lily respawn? Oh, back in my tower, more than likely. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go, go, go. You're it, honestly, it's really quick to your home. 
it's really quick as long as you got boots let's go yeah and the cloud ring yeah let's go it's really quick so i have to ask though yeah do you, have you ever personally fought one of the ritualists personally so on my own yeah no not on my own well oh don't pout we about might it. be we might be deal the library might be dealing with that lovely we seem to have attracted the uh, ritualist of Lux to our to our place the light one yep huh interesting currently uh peacekeepers are dealing with uh fabrico and alchemia fabrico that's the aspect of creating yeah it's fun that's yeah why did you two of them huh yeah i mean uh we got a report about a village um that was that were the people were hearing bangs from we went to go check it out and um yeah and everyone is dead nah, whatever sorry about that yeah we'll get payback for them yeah unlike us people who are born and from here don't exactly get to come back if they buy it no they don't but that's why we're here isn't it or at least like yeah. peacekeepers is here anyways library is also lending a hand in that regard as well that's why we're allied with you that is why peacekeepers is an ally with library oh yep. lord 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 how's it going you know we're just going to mario's right i swear lily if you're sending up some kind Sorry, of Sorry, i just thing, sneezed I oh, swear damn. to God, Lily, if you're making some kind of doomsday weapon for Chris to possibly run into, and it blows up something important. Honestly, it's, what's it really going to do to me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're almost there. Don't worry. We're like a thousand blocks out. Mm -hmm. But it's quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't be angry. Honestly, I kind of shot the wrong spell at you. Being no, honest my here. mouth hurts. <laughs> like, out of character. I just sneezed. Oh, yeah, because she had her surgery. Yeah, I'm aware. I just wasn't mentioning it. It hurts so goddamn much more than fucking A yelling regular. at you. <laughs> or sneezing, yeah. Usually my sneezes hurt, but not that much. Someone in chat clipped the fact that I almost walked past a sheep, but then I just walked back to kill it. Is it, like, your goal to kill every sheep or something? No, it's just... Oh, lord. <laughs> I just, like, honestly, I just like combat, and when I don't get to combat, I take it out on the animals. I'm gonna get some pain pills after this. I need to figure out how to make those training dummies that, uh... Well, actually, funny enough, you peacekeepers had at that your yeah. little... Yeah. At your or... training area. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. It's just... Chocolate? It's just... It ta it, it passes the time. Hmm. Weird. Honestly, whenever I tell someone that I just sometimes just kill animals for boredom, they call me insane. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Like, literally, when you go as into long war... As, you're, as long as you're not tormenting them. Yeah. Like, literally, as soon as you go into warp or just do anything involving everyone just calls you insane and shit. Well, it's kind of annoying. Should probably well, AFK for some pain pills. I'll be right back. Yeah, you do that. Right. Well, it, I'm not going to say warping is a good idea. But I will say there is a reason why warping is known as the insane path, the insanity path. Well, yeah, obviously. It's just annoying. I mean, sure. I'm not... I don't have the same amount of probably sanity I once had when I originally joined, but I wouldn't say the insanity isn't helpful. Hmm. In a sense. 
Because sometimes, you know, the best people are insane. Just a little bit, anyways. Yeah, agree to disagree on that one. I mean, hear me out. Without insanity, a lot of discoveries probably wouldn't be made. Mm, same like, thing can be said about laziness. <laughs> like, like, if you just keep following the same path over and over then just you don't learn anything but if you go but if you're just a little bit crazy you'll try out some of the better things that could probably be more useful are you already at my place yeah i'm gonna go get some food okay yeah. oh yeah and i create a runic a runic door to keep places safe you want to play safe yeah Especially since I've had a few break-ins, so. From? One of them I suspected was from Kathy because, one, when I came home, I was uh, taking, I was exploring some of the Twilight Forest. I came back, her donkey was here, and <laughs> her, uh, and I also found my window broken. Lovely. But, but since then I've awarded the window. It's gonna take a lot more. It's gonna take a strong uh, thaumatic blast to break that window. One moment. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's gonna take a strong blast in order to break it. You, you have, you, you've made the one thing that tempts me. Awarded. Come on, break. I hate you. Did it didn't do anything, did it? No. You did you've made something that I hate. Not something that's unbreakable? Yes. I hate these things. <laughs> Just, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, good. Like I said, only did a heart. It does take down my runic shielding, but it only does a heart to me. <sighs> I hate this thing. Come on. There's no explosions, please. I will the ball. Make I will make wall, a goddamn explosion. The wall around it is. The wall around it is not warded. Come on. Hey. You have made a thing I despise. Wait. I guess break your wall. Yeah, I, like I said, the wall is not warded. That's why I asked for no explosions. I could just... Okay, anyways. But like I said, the window, I was just tired of that being constantly broken by both Kathy and Lily. Fair enough, I guess. Plus, also, the door is also warded as well. Also, by a thing I hate is a, a window I can't break. Do you like breaking windows? Not all the time, just when I'm trying just when I'm trying to annoy a friend. Ah, and the fact that I made an unbreakable window. Yeah. I hate things that I can't do. I hate them. <laughs> oh, good thing you don't, because it, honestly it would be very annoying if you broke all the glass on the top of my observatory. Wait a minute. On. Break. <laughs> You're gonna come back. Ow! That actually doesn't do any damage to me, actually. I know. It's my weak spell. Was that your digging spell, though? I was supposed to break stone and all that. 
<sighs> oh yeah, grapplers. Do I have one yeah. still? One moment. Oh yeah, I still have mine. I just find them fun and useful for whenever the cloud boots can reach somewhere. This is good to have. Because I'm pretty sure you can't fly, right? I wish. Why is that not grabbing onto that? Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. back. <sighs> and I got the pain pill. Yay. It's not going to be kicking in for a while, but I got it. Hello, Ooh. chat. Hello, Charlie chat. Anyways. Mm -hmm. I, I hate grapplers mainly just because they're inefficient. Yeah, they actually get you to places that the cloud jumper can't. Either way. Anyways. Also, do you want to know something funny? What? Lily thought that that flux person we saw on Swan's Island was an edict. Mm -hmm. Like a goddamn idiot. I mean, to be fair, I'm quite new, and, you know, you guys are against the edict, and you're against him, kind of, I think. I wouldn't, I but mean, I wouldn't say I'm against Flux. I'm feeling okay. Don't worry about it, Charlie. I'm just, uh... I, I latched onto something in the sky. There's something in the yeah, sky. Yeah, okay, one hour. What? What? I latched onto something in the sky. Huh. Weird. And now I can't latch onto it. That was just weird. Yeah, very. Hmm. Anyways. Well, if if I give you the materials, do you think you'll be able to make those automated crossbows? Where do you want me to put them? <sighs> right now, I just need them to have them in storage at the moment. I already okay. have. I have three on me right now. <laughs> Essentially, I want to do something with this town one day. Yeah. I mean, do you want me to just give you the three I have? They want to make if a town, can. pretty much. Yeah, sure. Here, have the three I already have. Yes, I hydrated, Charlie. Thank you. I guess for now, I'll just place them out in, out in front of my place mm -hmm. as, a, as a mainline defense. Sure. <sighs> I guess I'll put one in the back door of anything. I will oh, say, okay. you're, you're more magic-oriented than I would have thought for a library member. Well, when I first joined, I didn't know what I was going to do. But then, I basically, while exploring the cave, I found <laughs> one of those crystals, fell asleep, and, you know, that woke up, and yeah. Yeah. And I've been fascinated by, the, by it ever since. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just more... Surprise swan lets you. Honestly, she was kind of against it at first, but she didn't want to stop the pursuit of knowledge. And especially since I was more cur I'm, I'm I'm the curious sort. I like to exp I like to learn about everything. I like to learn about what is useful to help out others, really. Oops. Which which is fair, honestly. Which is one reason I'm not really too interested in the other dimensions other than really the void if you can really consider it yeah well i found some interesting things in the other dimensions though like did you know that like did you know that there was a that there's a magic within the twilight that can super grow everything there slightly aware i know about some of the things in the twilight i just don't care to go there myself well when i was there where do you think I got the gigantic sword from? I mean, most likely the Twilight. I mean, also those goblins, I'm assuming, that that are near me are slightly from... have to have something to do with Twilight Origins, considering oh, they, they drop. I've dealt, I de I've dealt with a couple of those goblins in the Twilight. Yeah, they're annoying. They <sighs> took over my house, I slaughtered them all, and then uh, they're still at that camp, because I told their leader, keep bringing forces. So, yeah. Infinite, infinite XP farm. Well, yeah, I guess. The... 
as long as it's not as long as you're not like raiding the any towns, I guess. No. No question. What? I said just because I wasn't there. Um, how was um? Because I know because I heard of what Swan did at Vanguard. Uh, how was Swan afterwards after she fell into oh, that void? Oh, you heard you yeah. heard about that, huh? Yeah, I followed y'alls. Yeah, well, the... Oh, she was like... Basically, I guess it would be akin to... Have you ever gotten drunk before? Well, no, I know how she was when it happened. I'm asking how she was after, like, it wore off and shit. Oh, she didn't remember that much at all. Hmm. Like getting drunk. Yeah. Your analogy still works. Hmm, interesting. Hence why the, I was able to make f some jabs, some funds at her. Like, okay, l you guys have promised not to tell anyone, okay? Uh, sure. I'll probably forget. Okay, just come over here. I'm going to whisper it to you guys, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, no, we're the only so, people here. So, mm -hmm. in front of everyone, and especially to the person of interest, she, in her, in her weird drunken state, basically told Kathy... That her brother is in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait. One minute, yeah, wait. I don't know who that person is, but... <laughs> well, that explains a little thing. Oh, did they act awkward if they met up? No, that explains <sighs> why Kathy didn't like it when I mentioned when I called them an asshole. I mean, that's in general, people don't like being called assholes. I know, but it's interesting. Intriguing. Well, Anyways. she just, she just blurted that out in front, in, to her face about it. And how did that go? Well, I had to, I had to, I ha since I already knew what the kind of situation that was going to brew, when I met up with them the next day, they were funny enough talking to their brother, and can you guess what happened? What? I had to tell the brother... I had to tell her brother what she said. Yeah. You can, you can guess that they were not happy with, uh, with Swan. Uh-huh. Who's their brother again? Because I don't know. I have no idea, actually. Keep me updated on uh, that, Maria. <laughs> Will do. Answer my question. <laughs> I don't even know most of the people. I probably won't I don't know who I, they are. I technically know who you mean. <laughs> That's a very funny situation to be aware of. Out of the loop. It's fine. Fine. It's Jazzy. Oh, never mind. I know who Jazzy is. Yeah, that son of a bitch. Can you stop? Jazz. Can you stop having multiple chickens in this, in the outside of the coop? Well, I mean, if you want to go inside the coop, stop throwing the eggs outside of the coop is what I'm saying. Fine, we'll just have a giant spot where there's so many chickens we can't move. Don't mind the um, don't mind anything. Killing my chickens? No. Yeah, don't mess with her chickens. She gets very protective over them. <laughs> it's a little weird. If it's chickens no. outside of, if it's chickens outside of the area, if it's chickens outside the area, she doesn't care. But if it's these, if it's these particular chickens, she gets upset. <laughs> You have the bow, why don't you use it? What bow? The try bow. No, I don't. It's inside. Is it? I didn't see it inside the chest. Well, I left it there. No, no. How's it going down there? <laughs> Gotta figure out how to make those tipped arrows, by the way. <laughs> oh, there it is. I mean, here's the thing. Your axe doesn't do any damage on me. I am very aware. 
You're just a fast, tiny little <laughs> scum. You have basically a smaller hitbox. <laughs> basically. Here, can I see something? No! No, I'm not talking to you. What? I want to see how much the, this tribe of one of the most powerful bows sure. from the Twilight do. Absolutely nothing. Oh, well, that was just with normal arrows, like every mundane arrows. Uh-huh. I just wanted to see what it did. Now, I want to go try to get uh, some... I want to try to go get uh, those uh, here, there. Just don't break it. Yeah, yeah, I know. And here, the arrows. I need an arrow. Ow! Prick! Well, right now, just don't break it. I don't have mending on that thing yet, and that thing's a... Uh, very hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to see something interesting, though? No, I mean, actually, they're not overpowered whatsoever. The actually, arrows? Weaker ones? No. Um, Charlie said Chris is overpowered. Chris is just actually it's, a decent it's, weak it's, one. So it's not that he's overpowered. It's more the fact that he delves into Thumbcraft, and Thumbcraft can make give you pretty powerful stuff, but you're still easily killable. Yeah, I am killable. Like, it, if, I re if we really want to, like, out of character, out of character, me and him can probably kill each other quite often. Like, Yeah, we easily all, could. Yeah, each other, but we're not going to. <laughs> like, here's the thing. We're both probably very evenly matched, honestly. Yeah. Because here's the thing, I have a really powerful, out of canon, out of character, out of character. I have a powerful spell, but I don't use it. Same with me. And my stuff can, I've specifically designed my, uh, the, the fire and ice cloud to specifically break armor, especially that of the voidal kind. Yeah, like literally, like literally, we could, like our, like spells, we have strong spells. But we don't use them against other people because, well... It is annoying to rebuild uh, Fortress armor. Yeah, that too. And then literally, I have a spell that kills a lot of mobs at once, but I don't use it because, honestly, my character probably wouldn't use it in combat anyways because of how big of a radius he gave it. And pl it could easily... Like, I could probably survive it, but let's say Lily was right next to me. Yeah, Lily... Like, here's the thing. Lily, honestly, just doesn't have like it, i'm overpowered to lily because lily doesn't have the materials to survive yeah, right, because i'm new and i'm busy with my life you hooligan that and also the diamond axe I'm... isn't really gonna do oh, much no, I know that, but i mean it's better than <laughs> it's better than the stuff i use in fairy world yeah i mean i'm only using i mean yeah so oh shit so My right now, charge is at zero. That's eh, fine. Again. There's a the char there's a recharger right over I here. Know. No, I don't know that Mario. Oh my God, that's you know such what? new information. You know what? I'm taking it then. Anyways, no, you prick. anyways, <laughs> back into character. Anyways, back into character. Oh, no, he stole my boots. <laughs> oh, I'm recharging your boots. Darn it. Oh God. <laughs> wow. Fair enough. Fair. All right. Well. I think I might get going back home just because... Oh, I wanted, I wanted to show you this real quick. Oh, what? This is a little bit of a cool little magic bow from the Twilight. Sure. You, see, you shoot... It's called an ender bow. Oh, yeah. It teleports you to your enemy. Yep. You shoot it up there. Oh, wait. Huh, it, it, it works on people. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, it was good meeting you, honestly. Good to meet you. Good to know that... uh. Lambert has sure at least we... a strong Thomcraft person on their side. Yeah. Honestly, we can probably make some good deals with each other. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And I uh, can probably... if you need information about the void for your little book, whenever you get to the void segment, just come to me, I guess. Yeah, especially on the dangers. But I all guess the every once in I a guess. while, I'm gonna be acting as a messenger, huh? I yeah, guess. I'm not gonna use you as a messenger. I'll just go here myself. And I know where his tower and his house is, so... That's yep. completely fair, but I'll probably see Chris a tad bit more than you well, do. I would love if we actually had, like, a mailman kind of deal. Honestly, yeah, fair. 
Well, anyways, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna head out. Uh, so, uh, good tidings. Bye right. bye. All right. What I'm gonna do. All right, everyone. We're gonna be ending off today's stream here. Uh, it was a good stream, you know. Meeting Mario, doing some Thomcraft shenanigans. Honestly, I feel like that's just my go-to at this point. Just Thomcraft shenanigans when I don't have anything to fight. So anyways, I will see y'alls another day. And I bid you all adieu. Bye-bye.